Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show with Tom and Jazz. Today you're joining us in one of London's most sought after postcodes of SW20. The property we're going to be taking you inside is worth £4.6 million and is listed with Winkworth Wimbledon. It was developed by Berkeley Homes as an extension to Wimbledon Hill Park in 2015. It offers a really exclusive and private lifestyle as it is a gated community with only four houses. It's got five bedrooms, four bath and just over 4,000 square feet of interior space and it even has its own private roof terrace which you can see as the house is just behind me. Out the front we have two car parking spaces off the street and also a two car garage. The exterior looks incredible, so contemporary and yeah, I'm just ready to head on in Tom so let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're inside the property now, immediately blown away by these ceiling heights. You're gonna see them all throughout the property. Windows bringing in lots of light through here. I'm gonna stick a quick floor plan up for you guys so you can get your bearings as we make our way through the house. But yeah, we've got a guest bathroom here. As soon as we come in, we've got some storage here, like a cloakroom section, and we've got these nice stone tiles, and these ones have a nice border going along huge dark wood double doors that welcome you into this amazing open plan living space so should we start in the kitchen tom yeah we'll go to the kitchen first so in here we have that two-tone sleek contemporary kitchen we've got the dark gray cabinets underneath and then white on top very glossy mille induction hob we've got the wine cooler all the mille appliances here we've got coffee machine ovens microwave you name it it's got everything Plenty of storage as well. We've even got the cupboards that when you open them up, you pull the shelf out. Do you want to come and give us a demonstration? I get so excited about these little things. Yeah. You Just know. makes it so much more convenient, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly, and it comes all the way out like that. Nice. <laughs> Tons of speakers in the ceiling as well. So. Yes, we have the control for music system all the way throughout the house. We've got ambient lighting all under here. You've got the yeah, spotlights, the which look good. And then we've got... Yeah, tactical blinds. <sighs> The little things. <laughs> yeah, nice. You got that all the way throughout the house, which is great. Over here, we have our double fridge freezer, absolutely huge. Once again, in that glossy grey, and then we come in to this dining area set up in the middle. We've got the symmetry of the round chandelier looking down onto the glass table. Looks stunning. I like the dark wood features throughout as well. But we come into this living space and we switch to this wooden flooring. Now you've got tons of storage here again. We've even got this kind of like sparkly stone wallpaper. But we've got this cozy couch set up, another chandelier above with a TV opposite. And then we have our full height bifolding doors leading out into your private garden. Got we'll that go coffered ceiling up above you as well, that looks yes. so good. And that has the ambient lighting throughout too. Through here we have a utility room with your melee appliances. Past that we have access into our garage where you also have access to your garden as well. Let's check it out. Let's go. So here we're so secluded. You've got the really high trees and the fencing throughout. And we've just got a great amount of space. You've got a nice look back on the building as well. Like I said, access from the living room too. And you've got a nice patio area. But let's head back inside and I'm going to take you up to the next floor. Coming up onto the first floor, we've got the spotlights that go all the way down the stairs along the carpet runner. Switch to carpet up here. Now we have this double aspect reception room, huge space you can see out to the back. And we've got views out to Morley Park as well, so you're really immersed in all that green space. Great setup here, we've got the couches and then the TV, so it feels really cozy. I can imagine this as a nice family spot where you've got everyone. And we've got the full height bifolding doors again, leading out to your own private balcony with the glass balustrades, which look great. Loving these chandeliers, we've got one on the other side as well. Again, with the coffered ceiling. Yes. It's nice to have that different ceiling above the lounge space because yeah. it makes that dining room and the lounge dining area, sorry, and the lounge feel a bit separate. Now over here we have our dining table, absolutely stunning. We've got the antique glass, which is a really nice effect in here as it reflects the lights above and the flowers, giving it a nice open feel. We've got a Juliet balcony this side and another window that way. You can imagine the airflow in here in summer. It would be nice to have this as a big open space, especially with those bifolding doors. Impressive wine rack there. And these chairs, I'm just gonna demonstrate by pulling them out. Oh yeah. They're so cozy. Heavy I'd love chair. to eat my dinner on that. Yeah. <laughs> in here we have our first bedroom. So we've got a nice double bedroom, Juliet balcony, lots of inbuilt storage, once again, coffered ceiling. And then we have an ensuite through here, which has a bath and a basin. And I like the dark tones in there. Yeah. 
but we'll back down. Impressive mirror. You like those sun mirrors, don't yeah, you, Yeah, they Tom? do look cool. Yeah, I like that one. Nice. <laughs> Through here we have a WC, simply equipped with a nice basin and toilet. Now this is a great size room. We've even got this little lounge set up at the foot of the bed and a TV. Another chandelier above. We've got the AC control for music system in here with the speakers in the ceilings and the spotlights. Behind Tom, we have a dressing room with loads of storage. Through here, we have the ensuite. So we switch to the polished stone flooring. We've got the bath in that darker polished stone, which looks really good. Walk-in shower, bidet, toilet, and a lot of ambient lighting throughout here with the double basins as well in that dark tone. Yeah, nice. We also have access out to a private balcony. Should I open it up? Yeah, might as well. Let's have a little look at the view. And me and Tom realised, I think it's upset, there's actually a bird nest in the tree there. <laughs> yeah. So you could watch the birds. <laughs> Can you see it? Just there. Now, Tom's going to take you upstairs and show you the final bedrooms. So on this floor, like the one downstairs, on the stairwell, we actually have this dumb waiter. So you can see it from all the way downstairs. It's actually called a dumb waiter. Dumb meaning doesn't speak. And then waiter obviously being someone that brings you food. So yeah, you can <laughs> get that and it can take your food all the way up through the house and actually um, works for the top th top three floors. So you could be working in this study space. Someone could send you your lunch up from downstairs. Nice. And all you've got to do is pop up out your seat, take it from there. But yeah, <laughs> great study space in here. Good to get some work done. Got a bedroom down here, some storage in this room, and then yeah, a family bathroom in there. So we've got the bath, basin, and toilet. I like the material palette in there. Yes. This would be a great kids' bedroom. We've got some real geometric car blueprint designed wallpaper. That looks so cool. It's pretty cool, doesn't it, for a young racer? And then we've got a double bed in the middle, Juliet balcony again, looking down to your garden, and it looks pretty massive from here. In all the bedrooms where the curtains start, you've got that kind of cove where the ambient lighting is as well. Yes, the curtains, yeah, they're actually sort of tucked up under yes. there, nice and flush. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Okay, now we're going to come back out and show you the last bedroom on this floor. So if we go through here, this one benefits from great views across the Morley Park again. I'm gonna sit in this seat and just enjoy that view. <laughs> we have got the Juliet balcony here as well that opens up out there. Mm -hmm. Nice double bed, speakers in the ceilings yet again. And like Jazz said with the wallpaper, a real sparkly yes. look on all of them, it's nice. And then we have the ensuite through here where we have the shower in the corner here, some nice niches, the basin as well. Yeah, right, last floor. Let's go up. At the top of the property, you're joining us now in this glass box. Might be a good idea, Jazz, to actually look at that one next door to get a bit of an idea of where we are, like what we're in. Like an extension on yeah. top. So nicely lit. We've got 360 panoramic views all around. So cool, right? We've got a nice little preparation space here if you're gonna make some cocktails or something. Yeah. And a bar set up. Next to Jazz, we've got this door here that opens up to this dining area. Again, the dumb waiter sort of service lift. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> and then if I open up this door so we can have a little look out. And look, the weather's not fantastic right now, but I can imagine, you know, in the, in the summer, summer it'll be so good out here. Great place for a barbecue, right? You yeah. Can sit up here, it'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, crazy to have this at the top. It is. And then if we look across, we've got Morley Park. It's quite windy, guys. The local area is great as well. We've got Wimbledon and Putney Commons. Just up there, there's a uh, Wimbledon Royal Golf Course as well is up there. So Ooh. nice few activities in your leisure time. We've also got some preparatory and state schools in the area as well. So we've got some private schools, great education, and the transport links are great too. We can get into London in literally like 20 minutes. So yeah, great area in Wimbledon. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for another tour.